Hello there, I'm Tom from Smart Aerials and welcome to video number six of our how-to series, how to make an RJ11 connector uh, for telephone connections. You might use this connector for uh, connecting to an ADSL filter or straight into your router. It's, it's this, this end here. Um, this is actually like an adapter, that's a sort of BT connector there. This is the end that will go into your filter or your telephone, or your router, sorry. Um, so to do this, you'll need a piece of telephone cable, um, however long it needs to be. You might need to go for a wall, in which case you need to drill it through the wall first and then put it on the other end. Uh, one RJ11 plug, uh, one cutting tool and one crimping tool. Uh, this is actually a two-in-one, so uh, the cutting tool I've got is here and the crimping tool is at the top here. So uh, let's begin. So I'm going to, like all the other videos, I'm going to come to the vid camera to show you how to do this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so, to begin, I'm just going to make a little incision around the cable. <laughs> and pull back. Yeah, that's our braid. So in, in our cable, we've got this. Um, we've got a blue pair, which is a a blue and white pair, uh, an orange pair, which is an orange and orange and white pair. Um, if you just make up a lead, it doesn't really matter which way they go around, as long as it's the same the other end. So that the pins have to match. Pin two has to go to pin two. Pin three has to, pin, to go to pin three. Pin three, for example. Um, this is, but to do all telephone connections, uh, it should be done in this way: blue two, orange three, orange and white four, or white and orange, sorry, uh, and white and orange, white and blue. Oh God, I can't remember myself. White and blue, which would be five. Uh, so you, you, there is actually a green pair that isn't here, which you're getting a free pair cable. I'll show you that there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that's how you do it. The way I remember it is blue two, and then you know the, the solid colours go that end, uh, and then it's, it's the outside pairs working in. So you would have green here and white and green here, and then you work in inwards. So uh, I'm going to start waffling on about that and show you how to do this. So on this little bit of stringy bit, uh, that's just for... You, it's good, it's good practice to sort of peel that back uh, and get a nice neat fresh bit of cable. I'm not going to bother here because um, I'm just going to get on with this. So uh, Now we're just going to cut these. You don't really need it particularly long. You just need it sort of about a centimetre or so, so it's sort of a bit like that. You can sort of see that. Um, and these literally, just you just insert them like so. So I'll do that again. Just insert them straight into the plug and give a little bit of a push and then all the cables make it down to the end there. Um, you can't actually see that very well but uh, the cables, are there, they're, they're reaching the end they're, they're, they're sort of touching the end. So, uh, before we crimp it we need to double check to make sure they're in the right order. So we've got blue 2, orange 3, white and orange 4 uh, and white and blue 5. Now we're there. Uh, we're going to go back to our crimping tool and we're going to push it into the RJ11 section. On my tool it's this bit here, uh, the top bit's for RJ45 connectors. So that, that literally just goes in like that. And then when it's in, give it a crimp and then we can pull it back out. Then we have it, one RJ11 plug, ready made, ready to plug into your router. So I hope, I hope you like the video, if it's of some use to you please do uh, like and leave a comment below. If you have any questions please get them in the comment box beneath as well. Uh, to see more videos like this please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to do a whole series of how to put aerials up, how to mount TVs, how to mount satellite dishes, uh, how to do telephone connections and um, there's just a lot of great content there for you. So uh, it's bye for now.